What is up, bros and brats? I'm Inksasher44, and yesterday I actually put up a poll on Twitter asking you guys what you wanted to see in today's video. Now, the options were how to improve your aim, which you are seeing today, how to get more headshots, and finally a best class out of video. And they tied. The last time I looked at them, they were tied. And uh, if you want to put in your input on my videos or just ask me a question, Twitter is the place to do so. Link in the description. But anyway, I decided on doing how to improve your aim in Black Ops 3 because this is a very important thing in Call of Duty in general. Generally, whoever has the best aim in a gunfight will win it, unless you get super, super lucky. So, today's video is an incredibly, incredibly important when becoming a better Call of Duty player. And the way I look at it, there is really just three ways to improve your aim. Two of them, every Call of Duty commentator talks about. The third one, I think I'm the only person, or at least the only one I've seen on Black Ops 3. So... Let's get into it. The first way to improve your aim is simply by playing the game. And the reason why I say this is it's not just a scapegoat answer. Every single weapon has its own recoil pattern. And your aim is going to be different with every single one of those weapons. Just like every other first person shooter. And the way you get over this is simply by playing with every single one of those weapons as much as you possibly can. By doing this, this is how you simply improve your way aim the most basic way. But now that we've got the scapegoat answer out of the way... The next way is sensitivity. So what sensitivity is right for you? And this is probably one of the most asked questions in any Call of Duty ever that's been released. What is the right sensitivity? What should you use? Now, this is mainly based on personal preference, as everyone must say. However... There is one trick in Black Ops 3. In Black Ops 3, there is vertical sensitivity and horizontal sensitivity. These are two different things. So vertical is up and down, horizontal is side to side. That's simple. In Black Ops 3, you can move faster side to side than you can up and down. Whereas if this was Advanced Warfare, you could move faster up and down than you could side to side. It's that simple. However, since in this game you can move side to side faster than you can move up and down, generally speaking, you're going to want your horizontal sensitivity higher than your vertical sensitivity because you can then move your aim faster side to side than you can up and down. This is really tricky to get used to. Once you get used to it, you will be a much better player, but it is very hard to get used to. So I like to use mine at 6 and 4. But I used to use it at 7 and 5. This is where it comes down to personal preference and trial and error. Basically, the way I would suggest doing it is to start a sensitivity that is very, very high. Something like 10 and 8. And then do this in a private match or a game with your friends or a game against bots. And then start at 10 and 8 and then slowly move down until it's a sensitivity you feel comfortable with. And you'll know, you'll you'll get the feeling for it, and then all of a sudden it'll just kind of click, you'll start doing better and better in games, and don't stop doing this until you can consistently do well with that sensitivity. Now as far as how to change your sensitivity, here is how. So when you're at the main menu, basically you just hit the start button or options button or menu button, whatever you want to call it, and it brings up this. You're going to want to go all the way over to the right, and you'll see here it says controls once you're here press x and then you are in this area here this is where you can see your sensitivity both horizontal and vertical sensitivities go all the way up to 14 like i said earlier i like six and four now this is just where you change them and i would suggest doing this in the main menu because then when you're in a game you're not screwing with it and every time you change your sensitivity it's going to take a little while to get used to and generally you want to do that in private matches we've talked about practice makes perfect and we talked about sensitivity so there's one more thing to talk about and that's how to practice because if you're just practicing in public matches and getting shit on time after time after time because your aim is shit that's not going to help you get better whatsoever so they have this magical thing in black ops 3 called bots and this helps you get better huge in a huge 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 ways so the reason why i like to do this is because like i said if you're getting basically shat on in a game and you don't get a chance to even shoot someone how is that going to improve your game when you're playing against bots especially low level bots it always gives you a chance to get on target and getting on target is where improving your aim starts and doing that a million times will make you perfect at it. I heard this thing way back in the day. To achieve perfection, you have to do something over 100,000 times. So once you've killed 100,000 bots, you'll be perfect at aiming. Now, you don't have to be that good to play in 
public matches. But I would suggest doing this if you're a new Call of Duty player and it will help you out immensely. But if you were wondering how to set up these bots and the best way to improve your aim against them, here is the game setup you're probably going to want to use. So as far as this practice game I'm talking about, you're going to go here to custom games. You're then going to go to setup game. The first thing you're going to do is change the map. You're going to want a semi-small map in the medium range. I like to use either fringe, metro, or maybe Stronghold. Stronghold might be a little bit too big. Another good one is Aquarium. Now, um, once you choose your map, you're going to go on to go to change the game mode. You're going to want to choose Free For All. Uh, Free For All is great because you have face off against the most amount of enemies. And when you're doing this, you want to face against the most amount of enemies as possible because you want to be able to snap from target to target, not having to worry about running around and finding them. Remember, this is about aim, not about map control. Next, you're going to want to go to edit game rules. So as far as the game rules goes, the time limit needs to be unlimited because you need to be able to do this as much as possible. Now, you can make the score unlimited too, but I feel really good good about myself when I win. So I like to put it at something high, like 100 or 150. So I leave it at 100. And then another thing that is super, super important is if we go to general here and then go to minimap. Now there's a couple of options here. It depends what type of aim you are looking at. If you're looking at on improving your snap from target to target aim, do not put a UAV on or put a sweeping UAV on. It's underneath minimap, not UAV. Now, if you're looking to just practice getting your um, shots on target, leave it on constant, and that's going to make it so you can find targets as fast as possible and just work on shooting them. Uh, I like to use sweeping because it gives you an idea of where they are, and you kind of don't know where they are, so you really have to snap right onto target, and it gives you that practice perfectly. Um, now, aside from that, what else should you do? There's two more important things bot size so if you're playing on a medium sized map 12 bots is the magic number and put them on recruit reason being you don't need to play against awesome enemies to improve your aim you just need to have targets to shoot at and literally they will constantly move whenever they are shooting at you they will be moving i don't know why that's just the way the ai is programmed and that's awesome because you want to practice shooting a moving target and there is one final thing generally speaking when i do this i'm generally working on a specific aim for a specific gun so let's say i am working on the kn44 set up the class exactly like you're going to use it in multiplayer and change one specific thing. So normally I use a blast suppressor with the KN44. I took that off because you can only have 10 slots and threw on scavenger. Scavenger is super important because if not, you're just gonna run out of ammo with the gun you want to practice with. If you have a scavenger on, basically unlimited ammo because you're going to be dropping enemy after enemy after enemy who is going to be dropping many many scavenger bags. So just as a quick review, there is three ways to improve your aim. Number one, practice makes perfect. Number two, choose the right sensitivity. Not the coolest, not the one you can spin around fastest with, the one that is right for you. And finally, play against bots with the setup that I gave you because it's gonna improve your aim with every single gun that you decide to use against those bots. Because let's face it, you may not be good with one gun. Let's say you're not good with the Gorgon. Go ahead, play against some bots, practice with it. Then when you hop into a multiplayer game, you will kick ass with it so i hope you guys found this video helpful informative all of that great stuff if you did a like rating would be super super greatly appreciated and help more and more people find the video check me out on twitter link in the description it is the best way to stay in contact with me as i said earlier in the video and subscribe for new call of duty videos every single day thanks for watching guys and until next time peace out